Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to design a third order differential equation in both uh, MATLAB script and Sibling model. So first we'll do it in MATLAB. We'll write a short, a very small script and see how we can get the uh, uh, results or yeah, uh, the uh, resolution of the differential equation. And then we'll do the same equation in the Sibling model to see and compare the results. And the equation which we'll take is this one. Uh, this I have got from one of my uh, audience. One of my audience requested for this particular equation. And uh, of course, this has been discussed on uh, various websites as well. This is one of the simplest equations. If you have, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the same equation can be written in this form, mathematical uh, symbolic form. Uh, where, like, yeah, when we write it in our pen and paper, this is how we usually express the differential equation, um, which is this one. And uh, in uh, the terms of MATLAB, MATLAB script will be using this. So it's all three are the same form, uh, yeah, same way of writing, but this is, I think, MATLAB form. And yeah, this is a uh, yeah, mathematical form, I can say. Mathematical form. I'll give uh, this equations in my, on my website as well, yeah. I'm taking mathematical form. No, 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 not a good day, yeah, mathematical form. Okay, so now let me quickly start uh, in the MATLAB environment. So first and foremost, I'll create a script and save it. I can name this script anything. So I'll name it differential equation, probably third order underscore MATLAB. And because similarly, I'll create one for sibling model as well. Yeah. So first, let me start with the this one with the MATLAB script. So for the equation, what I'll do is I'll just quickly if I can type it also, I can copy paste just to save time. And I create an equation, uh, some kind of equation. Uh, equation of property. So the variable name also I'm giving equation only. And to create an equation, you have to put it as double equal to zero. So basically here, the equation uh, is two times y3 by x3, two times yx. And yeah, if you really want, you can see the help or the documentation of this so if i open it in browser the matlab browser no not this f plot i'm not sure why this came up so, but i i will be using the f plot uh, so i'll go to this help and in diff if i go yeah so differences and approximation approx approximate derivatives so this is basically we are using this third one which calculates the nth differences for the dimension which is specified specified in dim variable and this is a third order this is second order first order and of course there is no differentiation for the last one. now once our equation is defined then we can have the solution which is the y output uh, equals to and we will use something called d solve uh, yeah command so if we want we can again go to the help again here open help browser and here uh, we can quickly see we'll be using solves differential equation so this is responsible for solving my differential equation which we have just not defined and here we can have it equation and then we have to give certain conditions uh the initial conditions or yeah so i will give the initial conditions so equal to one probably i am just giving out randomly here so this is for no no I think this d y zero two and d y d two y of zero equals to probably yeah this should be fine and now i can use something called as a plot to plot my solution which is basically my y underscore output okay and uh, i can probably give some kind of range 0 to 20 and yeah that's why i have put I think uh, in the uh, this one help 
even the F plot was coming because if I go to the help and try to show in the plot this F plot so this plots the expression or function so for plotting a function we can use F plot as well okay now if I run it I am expecting some error yeah that's that's what I want uh, I expected that because y x all these variables we have is still not defined right so what we can do is we can use something called as symbolic uh, uh, thing so if I again go to the help of this so this is basically creates a symbolic variables uh, so this is just for creating the variables in a kind of like it defines the symbols okay so we'll just define uh, variables like y x and what else so and the other variables which we are using is y0 dy0 and all those things we can create it here um, as a symbol over here so what we'll do is we'll make it y0 dy0 and d2 y0 perfect and <coughs> also of course for all this uh, differential equation uh, what i'll do is i'll create some kind of like this variables i'll define so what i'll do is i'll make Control C. This is nothing but difference of differential of y and control C. This is for d2y and d3y. So if I do it this one, this is nothing but differentiation of dy and this is the differentiation of d2y. If I go here and make it d3y, perfect. Okay, so now I think apart from this, we should also make sure that instead of hard coding the initial conditions here like this one, two, or three, we could have used something called a substitute. Uh, so if I go back to the uh, help browser and if I go to the dissolved differential equation, so it says, uh, yeah, it, it, it suggests, Michael is suggesting like we should use, seems to declare our variables and we should uh, try to avoid hard coding it okay nevertheless let me run and see if it works so i'm running it again perfect so we, we, we got our uh, some solution and since we are plotting until 20 so we can see our plot is something like it goes up to two or something like more than two and goes down okay so i'll not do any more work on the material scoop side let me quickly start the simulating model because i want to show both the ways uh, to do this and if i try to okay first let me save this model and i'll save it probably with the same name uh, but i'll just make it similar yeah so i should get a similar model over there perfect so for designing any uh, equation in simulating what we should do is we should primarily Okay, I can probably take any of these equations, but I'll take this one only. We should uh, keep the highest order on the left hand side and assume all the other order terms are shifted on the right hand side so that it's easy for us to design. I'll explain why and how it is. So, say for example, we have three differential equations, so definitely we need three integration, integrated block, because that's how we can consider the uh, differentiation in the simulating model. We don't have explicit differentiation block. Or uh, integration integrated block is much easier to understand yeah now if I assume okay so this if this part is my d3 y dx3 so this will be the integration of that so this will basically my y double dash okay and this will be my y dash and this will be my y over here okay and just before this to take of this two part I will what I'll do is I'll put a gain block probably and yeah so this becomes my y triple dash or d3 y would yeah uh, d3 y by dx cube and over here i'll just make it minus uh, minus 0 0.5 why i'm making it minus 0 0.5 is because once two goes on the right hand side it will become 1 by 2 and all these terms will become negative on the right hand side so that's why I put a negative over here, there okay so now what I'll do is I will put a sum block here to sum the other three terms of this three terms so I'll just quickly bring a sum block and I like a square rectangular thing but it doesn't matter it's just a cosmetics and that's three 
addition yeah and i bring it and add it over here now for all these three terms i can see there is some kind of multiplication as well so i can quickly add three game block one two and three yeah and then i can probably add quickly perfect and one by one i can set the parameters here so most likely say for example this will be my uh, okay this i can put as five then this i can put as 12 and the last one i can put as nine and now i think uh, one by one i can start connecting so this nine is no not here this here yeah this will go be here and 12 is for y dash i can just make it like this and the five is for the y so this is last is the y so i can bring it like this y and i can probably label it as well y perfect now i can put a scope here to visualize my output which is y here yeah perfect i think that's all no initial conditions has to be set so one two three was the initial condition but i forgot the order so let me quickly jump to the uh, my MATLAB scripts so my y0 is 1 then d2 y d3 is 3 initial condition so if I quickly go so this is the initial condition for d2 y d3 so this will be nothing but 3 this will be nothing but 2 and this will be nothing but 1 perfect I save it I run it I'm running it for only for 10 so plot may be a bit different I think it may know what Perfect. If I open the plot, perfect. So notice we have got something similar. What I can do is I can change this also to 20 uh, seconds stop time and rerun it. Yeah, perfect. So this comes almost, you know, if I have the other plot still, so I can see it's almost, yeah, of course the response will be same. The response of the differential equation with the same equation I'm plotting on uh, symlink and the MATLAB side. So it goes up to 2.5 or 2.4 whatever and then comes down to 0 somewhere around in the 8 uh, somewhere around 8 uh, times 10 or 8 seconds okay so that's all i wanted to quickly show probably i can rearrange this thing somewhere so that all the things are visible and yeah yeah so this is the my i can probably put it back inside so this is for my MATLAB equation and uh, whatever yeah plot and then the other one could be this is the other plot this I also I can make it a little smaller and this is my model which I can probably bring down somewhere over here I can make it a smaller yeah just for the capture of the screen okay so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and all these details will be posted on my website as well thank you for watching and have a nice day bye